I noticed that South Dakota State had dropped out of the Little Apple Classic. What's kind of the what? How are you guys moving forward with that event without them? Well, you know, we are trying to scramble to get another team. I, I'll be honest. I was hoping uh, we had something. Uh, we think we're close to having another team join the tournament. Uh, I was hoping today not only to announce uh, Logan signing and talk about him, but also to, to announce some schedule changes. But we haven't got a uh, contract signed yet, um, you know, it, and but we hope we have another team and we would keep the same format play Wednesday, Friday. Um, I talked to Coach uh, Boyle last night and I think both of us agree we still, you know, we're going to have to expect the unexpected and, uh, you know, just kind of make do if, if we only have three teams, just play each, everyone play around Robin uh, just so you get games in. I think that's all we, that's the goal and, you know, to get a couple games in and uh, to start the season. And, and I know the players are, are excited. It's, it's even though it's only two weeks away, uh, it's it's been a long time coming and they want to get on the court and you know hopefully we'll be able to do that on that Wednesday the 25th and you mentioned Logan in there what makes him such a such a good re recruit for you guys well I think it's you know we it obviously it's hard to recruit right now uh, it, you know if you you know just we didn't know we didn't get to finish last season and then you didn't get to recruit so you you know, you may do, we've talked about it before on some of these uh, Zoom uh, press conferences that, you know, the coach, our coaches have done a good job of. Am I there? Oh, there, there I yes, am. You're here. Sorry. Yeah, I, I got a call there. But, uh, you know, our coaches have, have done a good job of, of getting our faces out there, getting our voices out there. Uh, Logan was one of the first guys we did our original Zooms with. Uh, a young man we kind of found, I don't want to say by accident, but just by word of mouth. Uh, he was uh, somebody that I think was thought he was going to be a, a baseball pitcher, you know, was really involved in summer baseball and, you know, travel teams and things like that. And, uh, you know, continued to grow, played at a smaller academy uh, for his first uh three years and you know and, and the AU guy and Tony and up at Phenom Academy in Milwaukee who's uh, one of the better AU programs called Coach Lowry early in the in the spring and said I think I have a guy that you guys might like and so we got involved with him and continue to recruit him his recruiting picked up um, and we just kind of hung in there and he at the end he just said you guys, you know, I've always had a great relationship with your coaches. You guys have stuck with me and uh, just excited to have him. Very, very skilled. Uh, has, he can shoot the three, he can pass, uh, you know, can do a lot of things. Uh, big body uh, and, and, you know, we're excited to have him. He just got a, a great attitude, fun loving, you know, young man that uh, you enjoy talking to and, you know, a lot of times you get on with recruits. Now they just text or, you know, get, you know, they do all the other stuff. They're not, they don't want to have phone conversations, but Logan, you can get on the phone and talk to him 15, 20 minutes. Uh, you know, just a, just a good young man that uh, I think has a bright future ahead of him. I also want to ask, do you know when uh, you expect to have Luke back? And I think last time I hear Mike mentioned Carlton was maybe a little hurt. How's he doing? Yeah, well, we've had – we were down to seven on Monday. Uh, we started Monday with nine. Somebody got had a, got hit in the head, had to go through concussion protocol, then we had a sprained ankle. So we got down to seven. Yesterday we were back up to uh, nine or ten, kind of rotating a couple guys. But uh, Luke uh, will be reexamined on Monday. Um, and then he's in the boot, uh, hopefully making some progress. Then after that, uh, I, you know, long-term, you know, prognosis, probably, you know, mid late December before he's really back going, you know, live and things like that. And that's, if it all goes right. Uh, Carlton has had a little bit of a back issue. 
that uh, set them back and uh, we're, we're progressing them back. Um, he's had a couple of procedures done and hopefully, you know, I, I know he, he ran some uh, the last few days and, and he's also been shooting. So we're, we're hoping to get him back uh, going, maybe part of practice over the next couple of weeks. Okay. Thanks, Bruce. I'll let somebody else ask you. Coach. Okay. Anything else? Anybody just, can take the anybody can uh, take the floor as far as asking questions. I know Kellis had a couple, so yeah. Here, I I, I got you, Bruce. Um, just with the the way that uh, kind of cases, COVID cases, are rising right now in the country. Um, just how how tenuous does it feel like the the basketball season is right now? Well, I'll be honest, I'm worried every, you know, you turn on TV and last night, what, four SEC football games canceled um, and then a Big Ten game canceled. And, uh, you know, it, it's it, it's scary. And, uh, you know, I'm, I, I don't I almost don't even want to bring it up to our players because it's been stressful on them. Obviously, they you know, we've talked about winning the weight, uh, you know, and during this whole thing and getting to the season, we're so close. Um, I, I hope we can find a way to have a season for them um, and still keep everyone safe. Um, you know, but it's, it's, you know, there, there's, there's some worries. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. I, I hope, you know, again, you know, I just hope and pray people wear masks. People are respective of it. They respect the, the virus. Obviously, it's uh, you know took a turn for the worse here the last the last week or so. Um, our county has actually done a pretty good job. Um, our numbers are not as high as the rest of the state, but obviously the state of Kansas is is, is at a high pretty high rate right now. And uh, I hope we can get things under control and get to a season. I, I don't know. Oh, it's not going to be a perfect season by any means. Uh, you know, and, and I think we all got to anticipate cancellations, uh, changes, uh, and just make the best of it and try to get in as many games as possible. I was going to ask, too, just who, who has impressed you the most so far through the practices you guys have had? I think Mike McGurl has been the most consistent. Uh, you know, there's no doubt. He's made a big commitment. I think he's taken a big jump. I've said it before, uh, his physical – part of it, his body's much more ready, um, athletic, stronger. He's doing what a fourth year guy should be doing now. You know, I've told Mike, he's got to do it on the court, you know, in, in a game, in a live situation uh, and do it consistent. And, and, you know, so I did a couple national interviews this morning and uh, you know, how's your team going to be? I, I have no idea to be honest. We, you know, we have no exhibition games, no scrimmages, you know, a lot of, you know, lately it's been a lot of four on four. So I, I don't know. I, I like what our guys have done. I like how hard they work. I like, you know, what Mike has done on a daily basis and, you know, he, he's done a good job. I, I, our big guys have, have been pretty impressive. Uh, we've thrown the ball inside. We feel good about it. I think even our guards are getting more and more confidence and looking for them. Both Casey and Davion can score, um, inside their physical presence that we haven't had in a while. Uh, we've had to go back to our playbook to find some plays to get it inside. Uh, you know, true post-up type actions. Uh, so we feel good about them. And then, you know, I, I think the, you know, the other guards, uh, you know, day one, Nigel Pack. Nigel, Nigel's been pretty good. He can really shoot the basketball. Uh, day one, you know, continues – you know, just you know, he just plays so hard, loves to play, slash into the hoop, putbacks, and he's in, he's uh, improved his shooting. So, uh, you know, and then Antonio's finally getting back going. Uh, him and Monty have, you know, kind of been in and out with some little different things. Uh, but we need those guys to be consistent. And I, if we feel, if we can, uh, you know, if we feel good about, uh, you know, those two inside guys, get those, 
two two uh, experience forwards and Monty and Antonio consistent. Uh, we got Surrey back now. He was out for contact tracing for a little bit. Um, he's got to learn some things. He gives us some athleticism. Uh, you know, you feel pretty good about that inside presence. And then it's just uh, the guards, you know, being consistent, and getting more experience. Appreciate it, Bruce. Thanks. Bruce, yeah. could, you, oh, could you talk a little bit about uh, about Nigel and what what he brings? And are you expecting to have it primarily at the point or? Yeah, I, I you know, it, it, the nice thing is he can, he's going to, you know, he's a point guard and he, you know, he makes plays for others. He passes the ball well. He has a, I think the best thing, he just has that feel of the game, those, those good fundamentals, um, been well coached. Um, you know, but I, you know, when you say point guard, you know, he can also really shoot the ball and we got him running around coming off of screens and, and he can make those shots. So, you know, as Rudy continues to prog progress, uh, you know, we can, you know, get Nigel off the ball a little bit and let Rudy handle, uh, you know, Mike has handled the ball some, uh, and then Selton, I think Selton wants to be a point guard. I don't think he understands totally, you know, what a point guard's job is, but he, you know, he can, Selton can make plays and, and, uh, you know, that, that, uh, you know, we know for sure. I mean, he, he makes plays, he makes athletic plays. And so he, you can put the ball in his hands at times too, when you need baskets. Thanks. Hey, uh, Bruce, I, I wanted to ask about Monty. I mean, you guys obviously shut him down early, uh, you know, last season, I just didn't know, like, how, how's he doing and how long did it take him uh, to get back to feeling comfortable and not worried about just the injury? It, it's taken a while, uh, to be honest, and, and I, I think he's finally, you know, we when we got back in the summer, I, I, I think we rushed it a little bit at the beginning, and then we had to take a step back and let him progress. Uh, I thought probably when we got back into August, uh, where he started to make some strides, um, and then he's had a couple other little things where he's had some setbacks. I, I would say almost everybody has uh, had something along the way. Maybe not Mike Casey. Uh, I think Nigel's probably been there. He even had a little sprained ankle one day, but, uh, you know, Days one's probably been there every day. But, uh, you know, the, the good thing with Monty, uh, he, he has a good feel of the game. Um, he's obviously very good defensively. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, if he can – Get healthy, confident. Uh, I think he can do some good things for us and, and help us. And Antonio gives you a little more explosive score. Um, he can, you know, shooting the three ball pretty well since he's got back. Um, you know, and he's just, I think his thing, he sat out uh, you know, pretty much most of the summer. He just got to get stronger and back in shape. Hi, everybody. Uh, uh, if, if somebody could mute their microphone, please, we need to get the quality of the – thank you. Yeah. Go ahead, Kellis. The TV is really annoying. Um, Bruce, if I asked you right now, who do you think will lead this team okay. scoring? Who, who would you guess? Who would lead it? Uh, you know, Mike – you know, we keep stats every day. We have, you know, our live stats, and I'd have to look at it. But uh, I would say the two right, or the two right now are probably Mike and Nigel. Uh, days one would probably not be far behind, um, and then you know, Casey and Davion have. If you look at percentages, they've been the best percentage-wise. We showed them our player stats the other day. I think in one practice, Casey was. Uh, like six for seven and Davion was six for eight. And, you know, so when we were able to get it inside, they've been scoring pretty well. So, but I, I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, that, uh, that, you know, you're going to probably look at those three guards, uh, Mike, Dejuan and Nigel probably would be your three leading scorers right now. Hey, Coach, going back to Logan a little bit, um, there's been some comparisons with, with Dean Wade and the way he plays in you know, basketball. Hello, right? Is, like, there is that what you got to say, Carol? That comes to mind. Hold on. Just one second. 
if you guys would mute your microphone, please. There's a lot of feedback for coach and try and make the quality of the audio as well, as good as we can under the circumstances. So um, thank you. Whoever, uh, you can continue with your question. Sorry. Yeah, no, I, you know, with Logan, uh, you know, there's no doubt right away when we showed video to him, we showed him Dean Wayne and, had, you know, he was pretty amazed by the different things Dean could, you know, could do out on the court, how skilled he was. I'm not sure he has quite the bounce. I don't think people appreciated what the bounce and athleticism Dean had. Uh, you know, I, we, we were showing a highlight tape to a recruit the other day and that that left that that Cam made that lefty one handed pass to Dean against Oklahoma. He grabbed it, went up and dunked reverse and uh, you know, no one even made a big deal out of it. And it was like uh, uh, you know, that you know what he uh, you know, that things he could do. But you know, he Logan is, is really he's skilled. He, like I said, he can shoot the three, he can pass the ball, great hand-eye coordination. Uh, so, you know, we, we feel excited about him. And he, he gives us a little different look than, than, than Casey and Davion, who they're more, you know, inside, back to the basket. Uh, Logan can give us a little more perimeter skill and a little different player. Uh, and with regards to Casey and Davion, Carlton, um, do you anticipate um, multiple of those guys being on the court at the same time? If there was a player that would be you know, most likely to play at the four spot, who would that be out of those guys? Um, I think right now, uh, you know, it, you know, when you're talking this year, uh, obviously you got Monty, Antonio, Surrey, um, you know, of those big guys, I guess, you know, if you're talking to, you also have Carlton in the mix who's coming back and Carlton has pretty good skill out on the court also. So, uh, you know, it, it, you know, between Logan and Carlton, you probably have more perimeter big guys that could play more of the high, low game, uh, you know, that type of player. Bruce, I'm wondering, um, you talked about doing a lot of three on three and four on four, and yet you guys are kind of huddled together. I'm curious as to how you feel about how they're bonding as a group and leadership and all of that kind of stuff. Has it been more frustrating to try to build that with, with what's going on? Uh, or is it, has it been better because you have been a little bit isolated together? Yeah, I, you know, obviously they, they've been uh, very, very close uh, as a group. Uh, it's something we challenged them with way back to March, Wyatt, um, you know, be closer as a group, even though we're further apart, you know, this is when we're doing the Zooms. Uh, our guys did a great job of staying connected, playing video games together. They had to get to know each other. Um, I think they enjoy each other. They, they are kind of isolated. Um, they got their little apartment groups. Uh, they've stayed together. Uh, you know, it, it, they've stayed, you know, they kind of hang out together for the most part. So it, it but you still don't have that uh, interaction. We went bowling one afternoon. We, you know, we made sure no one else was there. Uh, just to give them something to do, but uh, you know, you you don't have that true bonding. But I I think for the circumstances, they've done a great job of of hanging out, being together. Uh, uh, you know, just uh, trying to enjoy each other. They they all we've all talked about, and and I brought up Coach Kleiman said after the game, we still have the same mission. That's get better every day. And and these guys are really focused. We've talked about having a mission. Uh, of being ready and, and as a group for it's not going to be perfect. It may not be pretty at times, but we all have the same focus and that's getting the games and then in and, and trying to win as many as we can and, and being as competitive as we can. We've got one more, if you don't mind. When, when Casey first came in a year ago, he, you loved his energy and, and you said he needed a little bit of skill refinement in that. I'm just curious as to where you feel like he is now. It just seems like he he, he really busts his hump and, and wants to be a good player. How's how's he doing? 
Yeah, he he is very, very dedicated. And we've actually had to tell him to not go in the gym. Uh, I think he was wearing himself out. Uh, we Like when I've talked about, we've had seven, eight, nine guys in practice. You don't get a break. So, you know, on those days, you can't come back in the gym at night. And so we've had to say, Case, you need to, if you're going to come in, just shoot free throws. Don't, you know, we, we need you healthy. We need body. Uh, we can't have somebody like him go down because he just overdoes it. Uh, but he he wants to be a good player. Uh, he cares. Uh, the skill refinement is he's gotten better. Uh, footwork's in, in, you know I'm worried with him and Davey on one because we haven't had officials, but uh, just following the physicality, uh, you know those type of things are, are things I'm worried about with him. But he. He's got some athleticism. He can block some shots, physicality, and, and he's really scored well, as I mentioned. Any other questions for Coach? We'll have uh, Monty and Montavious Murphy and Nigel Pack here in, uh, in, a, in, in a few minutes. But any last questions for Coach? Uh, because we're about to talk to Nigel, how would you, I guess, who would you compare him to to anybody you've had recently at points? Mm, I don't know. He, he's, um, you know, he's, he's, I guess, Cam. I, I guess if you're going to look at somebody, it would be Cam. Uh, and if you remember, Cam as a freshman had a pretty good year. Uh, he could shoot the ball, he, you know, pass, good feel of the game. Um, you know, that little guy, got a, Nigel's a little stronger than Cam was when they started. Uh, actually, Nigel, um, when we did our testing, he's, he's one of the stronger guys on our team. So that, that part, and he, we ran the mile, you know, one we didn't have, we couldn't condition in, inside. So we had to go back to some of our old school conditioning stuff and test. And, and he ran the mile just a little over five. It was the best on the team. So he has good endurance, good strength uh, for a freshman. Very, very skilled. And, uh, you know, I, I think Cam would be a, a pretty good comparison. Hey, uh, Bruce, I had one other thing. Um, I, mean, I know obviously last season as a whole didn't go the way you guys wanted it. But, but were you guys able to take any – any positive vibes with the returning players from the fact you ended on the two-game winning streak? Or was it just like, well, I mean, it is what it is. We just need to move on from last year. Well, we have moved on. But at the same time, you know, we were excited about the finish. And I, I think Mike McGurl had probably his best game, TCU game, in that tournament. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think that's given him a, a nice shot of confidence and, and you know, pushed him to, to become a leader and, and feel good about himself. So, uh, you know, there was, it, it, we were positive about, you know, kind of the finish and um, you know, really excited that this group has been very, very committed to being successful, uh, to doing what we asked, to being coachable. And, uh, you know, we, we, I, I'm excited about it. I, I just, I want to get to, I want to stay healthy. I want to get the games. Um, and see what happens. Obviously, it's different. And 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 again, I I said earlier, I have no idea what's going to happen when we jump it up on the 25th. And 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 I don't think it's going to be pretty. But um, I think they care. And and if if we're patient and keep the focus and stay together, I, I think we can improve as a team. And we got enough pieces to uh, to be very competitive. I thought that was a really good point, Bruce, because I think a lot of teams are going to be like that. Do you perceive that to be the case? I mean, there, there may be some really veteran teams that that won't be, but because of the circumstance, are you expecting a lot of that from a lot of teams? Oh, I, yeah. I, you know, I think you saw it in football too. You know, I think coach Kleiman losing, you know, the first game, Arkansas state, um, you know, I think Arkansas state just having a game under their belt uh, before that, it's when I'm watching as a fan, it scared me, you know, that they, they had that experience. And, and that's why you would have, you know, we were, we were hoping the NCAA would have going to allow us to play a, a, a scrimmage or some type of thing. But, 
you know, we didn't get that chance. So it's, it's, it's going to, that first time everyone jumps it up first couple times, I think it's going to take a little time to get, get, get uh, the rust off, uh, you know, to get, get, get a little bit of flow. Like you said, you know, a, a Baylor or somebody that has majority of their guys back, you, you would think they'd have a little better flow, but for the most part, I think nation, nationwide, it's, it's, you know, I, I know coaches, they haven't been in the gym for a whole month at times. And so you, you, it's, I, you know, I, I know we need games, but I know we need practice. So, it, but they, you know, sooner or later you got to play. And that, that's, uh, that's how you, you learn from practice and get better. But then you, you look, it's kind of that study for the test and the test is the game and then you go back and then you, you know, get more prepared and keep making progress. And, and that's gotta be our mindset is with this young new group.